Dave, thank you. And now to the important changes being made after the deadly school shooting in Parkland. All eyes turn now to Governor Rick Scott to see whether or not he'll sign a new school safety bill. Florida lawmakers gave their final approval to the bill yesterday. CBS 4's Adriana Diaz has more from Tallahassee. 67 yeas, 15 days, Mr. Speaker. Show the bill passes. Read the next bill. Lawmakers say they kept their promise, passing legislation in the name of the 17 people who died at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Thank you. Andrew Pollock's 18-year-old daughter, Meadow, was killed in the shooting. It's important for the country to unite in the same way the 17 families united in support of this bill. Republican State Representative Jose Oliva introduced the measure in the House. I know that some of you think that this is going to put guns in schools and kill children. I would not be standing here if I thought that that was the case. The bill would limit rifle sales to people 21 or over after a three-day waiting period, allocate $400 million for provisions like school mental health programs, and allow some teachers to be armed. A lot of the students that actually came to this state house have called for a ban on assault rifles and for teachers not to be armed or staff members not to be armed. This bill does neither of those things. We've met with many students and parents, and including the parents of the 17 that, that were slain, all of them have signed a letter urging everyone to support this legislation. Only educators who don't exclusively teach can be armed. So, for example, a teacher who also coaches can be armed under this bill, and that's only in the counties that allow it. The bill now goes to the desk of the governor who opposes arming teachers. He hasn't said whether or not he'll sign it. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Tallahassee.